Hello and welcome to this video. It's been a while since I picked the lock on camera and that's because I was quite busy with personal matters and also busy with getting used to this lock. It's a Chichi 6-pin Euro cylinder that I received from Apache Locksport. So John, thank you very much for this lock. Um, there is no key for this lock and this lock gave me a lot of trouble. I spent many many hours uh, working on this lock to develop the right feeling for the pins and uh, develop the right feeling for the tension control and so on and so forth. And actually I don't know why because I've picked other Chi Chi locks in the past which gave me much less trouble than this one. But I don't complain because I felt that I've reached a little bit more confidence in, in picking these locks. So let's get started. I apply tension with my tension wire on the pin side and use this Sparrow's medium hook to pick the pins. In the first uh, step of picking I apply medium to uh, light tension and I'm uh, varying the tension while I push down the pins. Very light tension but not too light. Um, I want to um, let the pins stay where I pick them to and not too much tension because else the core would seize up uh, because of these uh, serrated uh, driver pins. So let's get started. And my goal here in the first stage is that all the pins are either set to the shear line or to a serration. And if I'm satisfied, I'm brushing over the pins. And that's because the pin chambers in the plug are enlarged and some of the pins might not yet have reached the shear line but hang on the enlargement. And that's what I want to change with my brushing. I want to convince them to find the shear line. So now I'm, I'm probing and a stack that is springy tells me that it's picked. And that's because the, um, the key pin can still interact with the driver because of the enlargement of the plug. And if a stack is uh, stiff, that tells me that the driver pin hangs on a serration at the shear line and you don't feel any springiness, you just feel a stiff stack. So let's continue. Six is springy. 5 is now springy, 4 is now springy, 3 is stiff, hard to get it set, but now it's set, 2 is springy, and 1 is also springy. So uh, I think I'm pretty close, I'm again brushing over the pins, hope to convince them. Now I've felt a little turn on the core. And felt another turn on the core. And now the pins feel a little bit different. They feel quite quite good. I think we're really close. I'm probing again. Six is good. Five is good. Four is also springy. Okay, three is stiff. Push it down. But I lost other pins, but let's see if I can help them with just brushing. Nope. Six, five, four, three. Three stiff. Got it. And it's open. Yeah, sometimes it's faster, sometimes it's a little bit slower, but it's a very uh, reliable method to get into this lock. So now let's cut it. Sorry for the shaking. I 
don't have a key, so I should not mess it up. Here you can see the plug, you can see the enlargement of the of the chambers. Interestingly, uh, chamber one has no enlargement. It's smooth like normal chambers, but here and in two through six we see this this enlargement. Okay, let's quickly check the key pins. They're all standard. Pretty good bidding, as you can see. We have two uh, it's upside down. We have two short uh, key pins in three and five, and uh, these are surrounded by long key pins uh, at two, four, and six, and one is also. Uh, a long key pin, so it's pretty good bidding. Let's check the drivers. Nicely serrated, as you can expect from a GG, with two serrations, also on two. Three is interesting, it has a very short driver. And we will have a closer look at that in a moment. Four is a standard Chi Chi double serrated, five as well, and six also. So here is the pin situation. We can see uh, the drivers are all uh, double serrated um, beside of three, and that's actually really funny because three is uh, a very has a very short key pin and I don't know why they put a extra short driver in that stack because um, if you reassemble the plug you will see that 3 is actually below the shear line so that's the stack assembled with key pin and driver and it's way below the shear line so I really don't know why they why they did it? Uh, not sure. How about five? That's also very short. Uh, keeping and it's also below the shear line. So I really don't know why they uh, did it. But that's the original state. The lock uh, came to me. Yeah, um, Apache Locksport, uh, John. Thank you very much again for this lock. It hopefully helped to um, develop uh, my feeling for these GG locks a little bit and yeah everybody else thank you very much for watching and happy picking bye bye